All right, guys, the new game mode out is Eruption, and it is featured this week for Iron Banner. Honestly, I really love this game mode. It's been a ton of fun, but I've probably played more Iron Banner than I have Control all this season. So definitely much more fun than Control has been. I've been loving it. So anyway, I have sort of been running this build that I have for you guys. I guess it's not anything too crazy as far as like a build goes. That's not really my strength isn't really in build crafting, but I haven't seen anyone running this at all. So I wanted to put it out there so you guys can try it out because it, honestly, it's really strong. I've been having a ton of fun. So what I've been doing is I have been running Voidwalker. Now what makes this build so strong and that is Devour. Basically, when you get a kill with an ability, you will proc Devour. Now normally that's sort of a problem because it's kind of hard to consistently proc it. But in this game mode, you constantly have abilities. As you know, you get your abilities back if you or your teammates are on a streak and you constantly get your super. So I've been running Nova Bomb. You could probably do this with Nova Warp as well, but I think Nova Warp is kind of hard to use in my opinion. So I've been running the tracking Nova Bomb. And what you can do is once you proc Devour, if you're on a streak, you will heal after every kill. That's part of the issue with this game mode is it's really hard when you're on a streak because everyone is gunning for you i mean like everyone the <laughs> people will just fly at you like one after one after one like you'll just be just rained down upon by enemies and grenades so it the, being able to heal after every kill has been super clutch i've been running the aspect for devour and to charge your grenades i've been running the axion bolts and i think this pairs really well with a shotgun I've been using a lightweight shotgun because ideally I will shotgun someone and then kill them with my melee ability to proc devour. So that's the ideal scenario. You don't necessarily want to one shot them with your shotgun right away. So this way I proc devour and then I can just go on a tear. Like you can just, you will surprise people because you will be mid fight and you will just heal instantly. Like it's instant. So definitely super nice. Also, there's a fragment that will proc devour upon picking up an orb i think it's echo of starvation i believe and so once you run that when you pick up orbs off the ground you will proc devour as well i haven't tried that yet i actually just thought of that when i was making this video so that's what i'll be trying next but i wanted to point that out for you guys also you can run the secant filaments which are the exotic boots and you can run an emperor in this way, when you are in your rift, you will have devour. So this is just another way to add to the ability to proc devour. So if you run all of those things together, you will have huge uptime on devour. And honestly, if you get on a streak and you have devour, you will have devour until you die because the timer is only so long. Also, there is another fragment you can run to extend your timer. I think it's echo of resistance, I believe. So if you run that, it'll extend the timer. I think it extends it to like 12 seconds but it might be 15 seconds as well i'm not sure your eruption timer is 15 and it's very close to that essentially your goal is to get on a streak and then proc devour you want to make sure you have devour going and you will just become a tank like you will surprise people they will just push you expecting you to be low but you will be full health so this is a lot of fun i've been really enjoying this i think this could potentially be the strongest subclass for this game mode Goldie is also very strong, but that's more so just because the super is like busted. You can get like nine kills just with your super. So outside of the super, I have to think that this is probably the strongest uh, subclass for this game mode. It's definitely the most fun in my opinion. So definitely give this a try. I just wanted to put this out there because I haven't seen anyone running it. So definitely try this. I know the challenge for Iron Banner is like arc and stasis, but once you get that done, definitely give this a go. It's a lot of fun. But anyway, as always, I appreciate the support and I'll see you guys next time.